we're gonna be having a bit of an eventful day today. So I gotta go to Method Coffee. Well, technically I don't have to. Um, I could go to a different coffee shop, but I really liked Method, Method Coffee. I actually liked it enough that I could go to a different coffee shop, but compared to the one down here in Chino Valley, Method Coffee is really nice. It's about 15 minutes away, but I'm gonna go get some Method Coffee down in Prescott. I'm gonna knock out some videos and stuff, got some work to do. I was trying to upload the video from yesterday all day, but it took forever. I finally got to sit down at Sean's parents' house, but the video was 20 minutes long. Halfway through uploading, it froze, so I had to reset it, and then it didn't really finish uploading till sometime in the middle of the night. I found out that my fuel tank is still leaking. Took a look at it, and it's leaking somewhere from the top. So I have no idea what's going on. Hopefully it's just a hose, but either way, Later today, I'm gonna have to go to Sean's shop and I'm gonna have to drop the fuel tank and take a look at it. Hopefully it's nothing major. But either way, I have a video I gotta go upload right now and I haven't had coffee today. I must have my coffee. So that's what we're doing. Dropping the fuel tank, dropping the fuel tank. Would have been a lot easier if I would have thought, hey, you know, maybe power wash the Jeep underneath, you know? I hate when you take it to shops because sometimes you'll have like, I don't know, like a valve cover leak and they're like, yeah, you got to get this fixed, man. It's like super major yeah. valve cover leaks, dude. It's going to cost you like $2,000, but we can get it cleaned up. But I'm telling you, you need to get that fixed. And you're <laughs> like, dude, I'll just top it off. You know? Yeah, <laughs> no, really. It Fantastic. I was covered in grease, so I wasn't really recording. I didn't want to touch my camera and get grime in it. But I basically dropped the fuel tank, which was a pain in the butt, crawled up underneath it, found a busted tube and a tube with a crack in it. So thankfully that's all it was. Um, we didn't have to completely drop the tank, just kind of lower it down, take all the bolts off. So we're going to uh, we're gonna go run to the auto parts store grab some new fuel lines for it, get that all strung in. After that, she should be good as new. After that's all done, I'm either going to Phoenix today or tomorrow. Sean's, I think it's your uncle, right? Yeah. Sean's uncle wants to go down to Sedona, Sedona and do some stuff. So Sean's gonna go hang out with him. We're gonna part ways for now. I'm gonna see if I can go see what Jen's up to maybe. And then I think we're probably all gonna meet up sometime in Phoenix in the next, next week or so. Maybe do another live stream or something, see how that goes. Sean said that there's this dollar taco place down the street instead of food truck, and I was like, sweet, let's get dollar tacos. I haven't eaten all day, so I'm pretty hungry. In case you didn't notice, I'm not wearing my beanie, so you can see my awful hair. I haven't really said this on the vlog yet, but basically what happened was my mom really wanted me to get a haircut. She wanted my dad to do it. My dad was like, I didn't bring the shears, so here's 20 bucks, just go into this place and get a haircut. And I didn't want to get the top cut off that much, I just wanted it cleaned up a bit, but figured if I'm 20 bucks, I'm gonna get some of it cut off. I said three inches. This was back when I had a big fat cold sore, so I was really trying to talk as little as possible. I guess there was a big misunderstanding between three inches and number three on the razor. I looked like completely bald. I hated it, my head itched and everything. Ever since then, I've been wearing a beanie because I miss my hair and I want it to grow back but we're waiting for it to grow back. Hopefully by the time it's grown back, I'll have some, somewhat of a beard. I'm trying to get that going too, but it's just a mess right now. Okay, so I can already tell you guys that, holy cow, is that a sponge on my lens or my? I can already tell you guys that um, I'm going to hate filming this, so I'm not gonna film it. Anyway, here's what the Jeep looks like now, and then in like 30 seconds, it's gonna be all bolted back together. Today was a pretty eventful day. I mean, we I didn't film a lot of it because you should have seen me. I was caked in grease, black all the way up and down, and I really didn't need that getting on my camera. Um, I've had enough problems. 
trying to get this camera fixed and I just did not need that to happen today. Did not need any grime or anything getting inside the camera. And I mean, I know I should probably be focusing on this channel, but right now, um, like me and Sean were discussing, we don't like filming that stuff because it makes it take twice as long. Now, it's a lot easier when someone else is doing all the work. For example, when Sean was welding my bumper on, I'm able to get some really cool shots, but that's because I can fo focus on the filmmaking instead of the actual labor. We got the Jeep all fixed up, dropped the fuel tank today, checked it out, and turns out one of the fuel line hoses was had a huge like rip in it, and so it was just spitting fuel out everywhere. We basically had to drop the tank. Luckily, we didn't have to replace anything on the tank except for the hoses, but while we were down there, we just got it all fixed up, got them all replaced and stuff. Spent basically the whole day running around town trying to find the parts for it. There was one plastic clamp that has a little hose on it, the EVAP hose or whatever, and we basically gave up on that. We could not find the right clamp. Finally thought we did. I spent five bucks on a package and it still didn't have the right hose. We went to three different places. No, four different places. Couldn't find it. And I don't want to dump five dollars out the road. That five bucks is like a whole meal for me. Or like two trips of coffee, two or three trips for coffee. Anyway, that's probably going to be all for today, guys. I know today was kind of a short video because I really didn't do that much, especially compared to yesterday. Yesterday was super eventful. Sean's going to get his dune, dune buggy fixed up. He called his dad, told him about it. Shouldn't be that much of a problem, so we didn't actually have to take apart the engine. Um, I didn't really get to help much with that. I helped put like a bar on, so honestly, we spent the whole day working on my Jeep. Honestly, can't say enough good things about Sean helping me out. I would not be on here without him. Um, I would not even have the Jeep fixed without him, you know, and it was, he has his own things he has to worry about. I mean, he has his own journey. It's one thing when it's, it's just some guy with a shop who wants to help out, but Sean has his own things to do. He has like, his, he could have been doing anything else today, could have been hanging out with friends and stuff while he's down here, and he decided to help me out with my Jeep. So, huge shout out to him. And seriously guys, after the live stream, he dropped like 40 subscribers, and we were all like tripping out. We checked on it, and best we can figure is that YouTube purged bots, and so now he's negative 40 subscribers. So... Honestly, go check out his channel, guys. He's got a great thing going. He uses a GoPro for all of his videos, and I even watched his recent one, and he does great with what he does. He really doesn't know that much about cameras. He's just doing it for the fun of it, and I think he's got a great thing going. So go check out his channel. Please subscribe. Get him to 500 as soon as possible, guys. Come on, we gotta get him to 500. Um, just go check it out. And that's gonna be all for today. Um, see you guys tomorrow. Look at that view though, holy cow. You should see it in person though guys, like this is just, this is just here. And then look, can't exaggerate that guys, that's just awesome. Such an amazing view.